Hello students, today's topic is on chapter 3, Coordination and Response. The learning objective for today's lesson is analyzing the role of human nervous system. The success criteria are, the first one, is you are able to label a diagram of a cross-section of the spinal cord. Second, you are able to state the main functions of the spinal cord. The third one, you are able to identify the three types of neuron. And the last one, you are able to state the differences between afferent neuron and efferent neuron. Spinal cord. What is spinal cord? As you can see from the diagram, spinal cord is a cylinder of nervous tissue that contained within the vertebral column. There are two main functions of spinal cord. The first one is coordinating center for reflex actions and the second one is to provide means of communication between spinal nerves and the brain. The diagram shows the structure of a spinal cord. As you can see, there are grey matter which contains cell bodies, dendrite and synapse and white matter which contains myelinated nerve fibers. You can also see dorsal root and dorsal root ganglion and below you can see ventral root. The neuron. What is neuron? Neurons transmit nerve impulses to other nerve cells or to glands or to muscles. There are three types of neurons. The first one is afferent or sensory neuron. The second one is interneuron. And the third one is efferent or motor neuron. Afferent or sensory neuron. The function is to carry impulse from receptor to central nervous system or CNS that are brain and spinal cord. Interneuron. The function is to carry impulses from afferent neuron to efferent neuron. Efferent or motor neuron, the function is to carry impulse from central nervous system to effector. The differences between afferent neuron and efferent neuron. The first one is afferent neuron has short axon whereas efferent neuron has long axon. The second one, afferent neuron has receptor, whereas efferent neuron does not have receptor. The third one, efferent neuron has cell body at the side and there are no dendrites, whereas efferent neurons, the cell body is located at the terminal and it has dendrites. And the last difference is afferent neurons have one long dendron whereas efferent neuron has many short dendrons. That's all for today. Stay safe, students. Bye.